Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream on Thursday where we do kind of whatever I want. And this week we're playing some more Final Fantasy X. Um, Venom here with the first. Welcome in, Gamer Waifu. Um, feel like people always forget about it. You know, Final Fantasy X is the best Final Fantasy. I will fight somebody if they disagree. Sorry, that's just facts. Um, but you know who decided it was time for cuddles again at the beginning of stream? Look who I've got in my lap right here, y'all. Lady. She says hi. We're going to have her dance for y'all. Okay. Hey, little lady. Oh, 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 fine kitten style. Okay, you can lay back down now. She probably won't lay for long. It'll probably be playtime very soon. <laughs> um, but y'all know what we like to do before it is time for our Final Fantasy. We like to do a personality quiz. So here's the one we're going to do today. I'm popping it into the chat. We're going to do... What color is your writing? So here we go, I'll switch on over. What color is your writing? Or do a fun you quiz. Okay, put in my name and let's go. Okay, where is your preferred place to post fiction? Tumblr, other, fanfiction.net, Wattpad, or AO3? Definitely AO3, although I've definitely put stuff on the olden days on fanfiction.net and on Tumblr as well. When your readers walk away from what you've written, how do you want them to feel? I want them to feel a sense of satisfaction and that everything is finally okay. Ooh, definitely not. I want them to be anxiously awaiting the next chapter. I want them to feel an ache in their cheeks from smiling so much. I want them to feel at peace with the ending. I want them to feel thankful for the journey the characters have been on. I want them to feel the heartbrokenness that only someone who truly cares about others can feel. Aww. I want them to feel a sense of comfort like one that can only be found within a loved one's arms. Another aww. <laughs> Thanks, Kendra. Thanks, Kendra. <laughs> oh, Kendra, you definitely need to do this quiz. Um, I want to know what color you get. Uh, I want them to feel the warmth in their chest that lasts for the rest of the day. I want them to feel a sense of connection to humanity. I want them to feel fiery rage that makes their blood boil. Where's the option that's like, I want them to like feel crushed and agonized. Um, I guess this anxiously awaiting the next chapter is the closest one after laundry. Okay, that's fair, Kendra. Understand. Okay, we're gonna go anxiously awaiting the next chapter. What's your ideal length of fic? Under 1K words, uh, 1K to 10K, 10K to 50K, 50K words. I am busy these days. So 1K to 10K, 1K, there's just only so much you can do. And I think writing a real, an actual, like real short story like that short is very, very challenging. Most, I don't think have that skill, but 1K to 10K words is pretty good. What tag appears most often alongside your writing? Um, crack, AU. <laughs> AU is probably going to be the answer here. Uh, blood and violence, romantic love, found family, character name needs a hug. Fluff, angst with happy ending. Hurt, comfort, angst, or wump. Uh, probably hurt, comfort, but is a good answer, but AU. Really, it's AU. If your writing could be bottled into a perfume, what would it smell like? Oh, God. I don't know. Okay, here we go. The salt of the ocean, watermelon candy, a melting ice cream cone. So, summary. Uh, bread right from the oven, blueberry jam, coffee. Butter, garlic, onions. Mmm, that sounds really tasty. Uh, smoke from a bonfire, toasted marshmallows, watermelon, fresh strawberries, honey, a bouquet of wildflowers, hot cocoa, chocolate chip cookies, cinnamon, the wet earthiness of dirt, a rainstorm that has passed, fresh dew on the grass, vanilla, rich cream, golden sponge cake, old books, the library of your childhood, a gently flickering candle, a freshly peeled orange, pink peonies, rosemary. Um, we're going to go with the books. I think that's probably... The closest thing. A lot of these are very, like, sweet and positive. Um, yeah. <laughs> Choose a quote that speaks to you. Come live in my heart and pay no rent. From my rotting body, flowers shall grow, and I am in them. That is eternity. Love isn't something you find. Love is something that finds you. The most powerful weapon on earth is the human soul on fire. Oh, I love that. This is how you do it. You sit down at the keyboard and you put one word after the other until it's done. It's that easy and that hard. Oh, I like that one. Um, there's no pain so great as the memory of joy in present grief. Nobody has ever measured, not even poets, how much the heart can hold. Enable to the loved 
unable or oh unable are the loved to die for love is immortality to love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides there is nothing to writing all you have to do is sit down at the typewriter and bleed oh i like that one better we're going to that one okay what kind of music do you listen to when you're writing rock and roll heavy metal indie country pop I put a random playlist on shuffle and hope for the best. That actually does happen sometimes. I don't listen to music when I write. Blues and jazz, white noise is all I need. Classical, rap, and hip hop. You know what really the best music to write to? Video game music. Like video game music with no lyrics. Keeps you pumped, keeps you going, keeps you motivated. Um, but I've also done this. So this is what we're going to put for that. Uh, and this as well, but I like this answer better. What's the hardest part of the writing process? Opening, imagery, closing, plot, flow, grammar, dialogue, reading through and editing the first draft, meeting deadlines, characters, personalities. Um, definitely for me, I would say <clears throat> editing the first draft. As someone that started out role playing and continues to do that, uh, after the first draft is written, I'm like done with it. <laughs> I don't want to go back and make edits, you know what I mean? Okay, there we go. If you could meet the character you write, would you? Or the characters? Yes, no, I would only want to meet my comfort characters. I put them through too much to want to meet them. Um, I give them the biggest hug they've ever received. They need it. Uh, no, thank you. They're fictional for a reason. Pick a random item in my room. A pair of silver earrings. A handmade basket. A box of green tea. I need to get more green tea. I only have one bag left right now. A journal, a jar of paintbrushes, a dying houseplant, <laughs> a chunk of amethyst, a snow globe from my childhood, a stack of unread books, a cat happily asleep on my bed. <gasps> I have one of those. Queen's doing that right now, so we have to pick that. Okay. Are you proud of what you've written? For the most part, I am. My writing could improve, but yes, not really, which means I have lots of room to improve. I want to expand my territory a little more in the future, but I'm good at what I do. I try to write a little of everything, and I think I do well that way. Um, I think for the most part, yeah. At this point in my life, that was not always true. That's a more recent development. Where's your ideal writing spot? A nearby coffee shop, in my bedroom, kitchen table, library. Bold of you to assume I have a writing spot. Y'all know I would have a writing spot. The closest thing is in my bedroom, um, but really it's uh, on the couch in the living room. But... Uh, I, my couch is very comfortable. I could I could sleep there. So there we go. What's better, Fanon or Canon? Fanon, Canon depends on the piece of media. Oh no, it does not depend. Fanon is hundreds or thousands of people. Of course, you're going to have better ideas in Fanon than what ends up happening in Canon, where you have one or maybe a small team of writers. What are your favorite types of comments to receive? Short and sweet will always be good. Every comment is a treasure, and how dare you make me attempt to choose a favorite? Showering me with compliments. Screaming about their love for a certain character. Word vomit comments are the most fun. If my comments aren't filled with people yelling at me and crying, I didn't do a good enough job. <laughs> when people quote back my fic and tell me why they love these particular lines. Definitely this one. Um, the yelling and crying's the best. All right, y'all know we don't do these. I don't care about that. Okay, what color? Ooh, the angry gray of incoming thunderstorm. Oh my gosh, okay. Saying you like to toy with your reader's emotions will be putting it lightly. Your prose is powerful, strong, and so full of emotion it's practically bursting with it. You break the hearts and souls of your readers on a regular basis. Oftentimes, the plot twist that breaks them will roll in out of nowhere, like a summer storm that's been building and finally burst. Your readers should have seen it all coming, but now it's too late and they're caught in the storm of your creation. Once the storm is cleared, they'll be left in absolute wonder and shock at the journey they've been on. Despite all of that, the heartbreak and sorrow, they're moved beyond words and often left speechless, and they're drained of their tears. Maybe consider leaving tissue boxes for your readers in the future. Well, I guess if I've done what I want to do, then that's what happens. This is not always the reality, of course. But if I achieve my goals, then yeah, sure, that works. All right, y'all. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. All my roleplay friends, when you get in the stream today, do this. Um... I will link it again to you. Okay, let's switch over to the game, y'all. All right, come on, find the game. There we go. Okay, so today we're gonna work on getting 
Riku's ultimate weapon. Um, this is not hard. This is not a hard mini game like the uh, butterfly one that we did. It's pretty easy, but it is tedious and it's a little bit long. But we are going to actually start out uh, a way that we had been starting out before and we kind of stopped doing it because we were doing, you know, some long difficult things. But uh, we're going to start out with Blitzball. We're going to do a league game. Okay, who are we playing? We are playing the Luka Goers. Of course we are. Get ready to lose. <sighs> I'm ready. Let's lose. Yep. Alright. Uh, no, those texts are good. Do you have any other shots, Waka? Have we gotten you any other shots? We so have not. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Jasu still has no text. Yes. It's, you're, you're lucky your stats are good, Jasu. You're lucky your stats are good. Okay. Uh, anything that we can learn? Okay, that looks good. Uh, volley shot for him too. What about Rin? Nothing for Rin. Okay. Uh, let's see. Drain tackle. That would be good for Nada. Wither tackle for Jasu. Yuma. Anything for you. I guess you can get drain tackle as well. That's fine. Okay. Proceed. Yes. Let's see if I remember how to play since I skipped playing Blitzball last couple of no, last two streams I wouldn't have played any Blitzball, I think. I know I didn't play any last stream, but stream before maybe I did? I don't remember, y'all. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Let's pass over to Titus. How are y'all doing today? Did anybody have anything good for dinner? I had um, some Korean chicken. It's Korean grilled chicken. It was pretty good. No complaints. Okay. And do eject shot. I knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> the numbers were only slightly on my side, and the goers are just too fucking good. I had to actually go into the office to work today, so I think that's why, um, part of why Lady's in my lap again. Apparently, she missed me all day. <laughs> that's what the husband said. Is that uh, that they meowed a lot today, looking for me? The kittens did, especially Lady. Good job, Yuma. Good job. Good catch. All right, Rin, where are you at? Okay. Let's. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now. Ooh, that's risky. We're gonna no break and pass over to Titus. Try to shoot again. Ah, should have broke. All right, y'all, get it from him. Get it. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Walker's attack is way too low. Yep. They did not get it down enough. Why are they venom passing when there's no break? So weird. Come on, Josu, you can do it. Apparently he cannot do it. They're gonna get a goal, I can tell. His shot is so high. Oh, no. Oh, but she resisted! Oh, good job. Alright. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. She's not gonna make that pass. They're gonna catch it. Yeah, yep. It's literally like a game of keep away. I cannot freaking score against these guys. Karen, I got pitch black night sky that is devoid of any stars and moon. Oh my god. Kendra, what's the description for that one? The thunderstorm description was really dramatic, so I feel like that one would be pretty dramatic too. 
You're literally like, the night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining for your one. Alright, come on, Jasu. Ah, oh, shoot. Could not do it. Um, they're gonna catch it. There's no way. It's impossible. They're like all on me. Each word is a painful stab to the heart. <laughs> oh, why are you so dark, Kendra? That's awesome, though. Good job. I think you win. You win the colors, the writing colors. Oh, Nada grabbed it. Good job, girl. Oh, yeah, this is not gonna work. Uh, is this the tournament? Yes, I'm doing I'm doing a league. Well, not tournament. I'm doing a league game right now. My um, stats are really low. I keep trying to win the tournament to get attack reels, and I just can't do it. Um, and, of course, I'm playing Luka Goers right now. And, um... Yep. I am going to lose. Oh, never mind. Oh. What do you. Oh, did you just realize? Yeah, we're at end game. This is not. Yeah. We're at the end game. We're working on getting people's. Um, celestial weapons. Okay. Um. Venom Tackle? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. You're missing the best best Blitz player? Who, do you, who is the best Blitz player in your opinion? Why Super Goalie? Brother. Oh no, I have him. He's not really the best. He gets kind of crappy as he levels up. He's only really good in the early levels. I had him, but I, I let him go. Yeah, but I'm not good enough to beat the goers. Unfortunately, no matter what I do, I always end up losing to them. I know eventually I'll level up enough where that does not happen. I'm just like really unsure how much I want to do on stream versus off stream, you know? Because it can get really boring just watching Blitzball over and over. And you can sink so many hours into this trying to get um, all the things for Waka's weapon. So we'll see how much time I end up actually dedicating to this. Oh, Rin's level's too low. Rude. Oh, good job, Ren. Good job. Mm. Yeah, there's no way to get it past them. Um, I think I played like six hours of Blitz recently to get all the Waka stuff. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> and that sounds like a short amount. Oh, oh, oh. Did not expect that. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to no break. And we're gonna jack shot. That's right. I mean, I think if you're like really hardcore concentrating and being really efficient, yes, six six hours, um, you could do it in six hours. But that even is like short, in my opinion. I got a goal. Okay, now I just gotta prevent them from getting any goals. Whew. You can do it, Yuma. You can do it, Yuma. Just block them all. This, if I win this, it'll be the first time I beat the goers. This is the closest I've been to beating them, I think. Second half actually being ahead. That has not happened so far. Rin's level's too low. Hmm. All right, y'all, don't let him in, don't let him in.
Yeah, good job, Nada. Good, good job. Uh, no breaks. Just passed. They're probably gonna get it back, though. Yep. Oh! 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 I was getting lucky lucky! Whoever's giving me that good gamer energy today, thank you so much! Keep it coming! Landon! Oh my gosh, you're here for a Thursday stream! That is amazing! I guess at least I poisoned him. Okay, let's shoot again. Mm, no break, just shoot. Let's do a sphere shot. Procrastinating work. <laughs> what work are you procrastinating? Is it stream work? Is <laughs> it stream work for Saturday? No, he got it! Almost had two points on them. Landon, maybe you're the missing ingredient, because I always lose to the Luka goers when I have to play them. But you're here this time, and I'm not losing for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I saw your post on Twitter. Did you finish painting that room? Good job, Bran. Good job, good job, good job. Oh my gosh. Too many, too many. Uh... See, Kendra's excited to see you too. <gasps> Y'all, <gasps> I beat the goers. I beat the goers. Oh my word. Okay. Okay, contracts. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, it was a league game. I really need to, um, beat them in, uh, the tournament so that I can actually get the freaking attack reels, but I beat them in a league game. That's the first time I beat them. Maybe my, you know, it's getting better. <laughs> Thank you for the wow, Katie. Okay, anyways. Now we're gonna work on getting um, Riku's ultimate weapon. Oh, I think that applause. Oh, there it goes. It was like the applause didn't go through. But it was just cute, I guess. Karen's favorite redhead FC, young lady redhead. Um, Karen Gillian? As Liza is doing solo play, so I can focus. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, I like um, Karen Gillian for a redhead face claim. Bring it on. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want Riku. I wanted Titus. We don't need these guys. I'll be right back. Oh, Kendra. Um, Link, if you still have the link to it, Link Landon, the personality quiz we did at the beginning of the stream, and, uh, Landon, do the quiz, and, uh, and tell us what you get. Okay, here's a cactuar. We're gonna catch monsters, of course, while we're here, too, just like we normally do. So, I gotta mark him off the list. We got one. One cactuar. And Waka can kill these guys in one hit, and then they're no problem. <sighs> Good use of that exclamation, Katie. It was not rude to you. You got an awesome answer, Kendra. Don't hate, appreciate. Okay, so this is a Sandwolf, an Alcyon, and Mushu, however you say that. I don't know. Alright, Titus, come back. Got you covered. It lied to me. <laughs> you know you can take it again if you feel like that. Yeah. So 
So to start on this, we have to go back and get the crest. We did get the mercury crest before, but remember, I was like not paying too much attention and then we died in this area. And so I have to go re-get the crest because I didn't go back and re-get it after we died. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. Um, is this group again? Okay. <laughs> Kendra keeps making Muppet named characters. There's Elmo and Kermit. Um, I feel like we need a Fozzie. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so the crest is back um, up here. Oh no, we have to go one more screen and then it's over there. All right, come on, Riku. I got um, gray of raging thunderstorm. Kendra got um, black, so we got we got very angsty answers. What did you get? What color did you get, Landon? I feel like my earbud is not secure in my ear today for some reason. Like my ears shrank or something. Mine's gonna be pink, I can feel it. <laughs> Why, Landon? Is it because you're obsessed with happy endings? Is that what's going on here? Got you covered. I'll be right back. Question number seven. I don't remember what that was. My ADHD is really acting up. Oh, that sucks. All right, there's another one of these groups, so I'm marking those guys off. Well, Landon, it is okay. I'm here for you for the next hour and a half. We can hang out, and maybe then your ADHD will be better. You give your brain a little break. I don't know. Sometimes that works. A lot of times it doesn't. What am I saying? There's nothing to writing. All you have to do is sit down at a typewriter and bleed. That's what I answered. <laughs> it definitely spoke to me. Okay, so her crest is up here in a little alcove. So we're gonna go grab that. And then we will start on the quest to get her um, sigil. All right, so let's do this. Let's let Lulu get in here and she can get some experience. She's been neglected. Bring it on! Bring it on! That's right, Riku. All right. Now we want to do armor break. Oh no, he missed because he's darknessed. Shoot. I was not even paying attention to that. Alright. Fix Orin, Yuna. Thank y'all. Stop attacking Orin! Picking on him! Alright, let's try again. Armor break! Now you die faster. Alright. Don't do that. Boom. Goodbye, Zoo.
The deepest green in a seemingly infinite forest. Ooh. Oh, that sounds so fancy. I love that one for you. What does it say about your writing? It's like, so basically saying like you're deep, like in soulful or something. Live and let live. The end of your story, everything may not be perfect or even the way the readers want it to be, but everything will be okay. Oh, okay. I do think that's basically accurate for yours. Sorry, I haven't read the rest yet. Uh, the ending is what your characters need, not necessarily what they want. Oh, I love that. Um, you know how to write strong plots. They're able to perfectly balance the right mixture of pain and lightheartedness. Writing tropes is one of your favorite things to do, and yet somehow you... Your take on it is always something unique and original. It'll make readers' jaws drop. Oh, that was a that's a good one. Yeah, so we got these chests before, but then we died, so and we never went back for them. But there we go. There's the Mercury Crest again. Um, now the place that we go to start her sigil quest is over here. We gotta go talk to a statue. Ooh, another cactuar. Awesome. All right. Come on, Riku. Steal. Yeah, you got a really good one. I like your answer, Landon. And I think that's pretty accurate for you. You're chiefly worried about what's right for the characters. I would totally agree with that. Alright, so if y'all remember, over to the right, there's a sandstorm that we can't get past. So this will actually get us past the sandstorm. That's what this quest is going to do. Take that. Okay, go work on stream stuff. So we can be ready for Saturday. I will. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, so here we go. We have to talk to this little stone guy. There's writing on the stone. Song of the Gatekeeper. Ten little gatekeepers play in the sand. Tomei's gone. Gone to fetch the water. Alright, so this is our clue. Be back soon. Okay, so this explains how it works, but I'm going to show y'all so I'm not reading all of this. Basically, there's ten little guys you got to go find. And they give you clues as to where they are. So this one says he's playing by the water. So where was water in the desert? Oh, it's at the oasis when we very first landed. Right? Right. So, you can run all the way back, <laughs> which is what we're going to do, because of course we need to capture mon monsters as well, so why not? So we run all the way back to the beginning, and then we will meet our little cactuar friend. Okay, so that's two of these bird guys, and the Mushisu. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. So all that way we just ran, we have to go back. <sighs> and this is really easy, like there's no there's no challenge to this particular quest, um, like there are to a lot of the others that we've done so far, but it just takes a while. All right, that's a sand wolf, an Alcyon, and a Mushisu. Farewell. And hopefully, we'll also be able to finish the um, capturing everything while we do this quest, so we won't have to spend too much time on that. That's my that's my plan anyway. We'll see if it works out, or if we have to stay here for a little bit longer to catch all the monsters. That's this grouping again. I've been getting this grouping a lot. I haven't really seen any sandworms yet. Y'all remember those big old guys and they'll swallow you? No time to waste. Let's go. Ooh, that was a good neck pop. I 
All my friends are such good writers. Y'all got awesome answers. Oh, wait. K is Katie in the stream? Katie, if you're in the stream and you have not done the quiz yet, you need to do the quiz. I want to see your answer. I think I saw you earlier, but I think it was just like one little comment, so I don't know if you're like really here paying attention or if you're just hanging out in the background. Um, if you are just hanging out, ignore me, you don't have to do anything. But if you're paying attention, you like do that? the quiz. Back, back through all the screens. In addition to our Korean chicken for dinner tonight, we had um, with it some kimchi. If y'all ever get a chance to, or if y'all have a um, Costco near you, the kimchi that they carry is like the best kimchi. It's like in this plastic tub with a green, like, screw lid, like, big lid, and it's so good. I highly, highly recommend it. I can't remember what the brand name is, but it's at the Costco, plastic tub, about this big, and a uh, green lid, and it's delicious. Let's do it! All right, we actually got enough of those bird guys, but we still need the sand wolves and the Ushusu. So we need two sand wolves, three of the Mushusus, a bunch of zoos, like nine zoos, all the sandworms, and a bunch of cactars too, like six cactars. Just like every other area, we're gonna end up capturing all of these like common enemies pretty quickly. Aw, oh, he's darknessed. Uh, let's give you a remedy, Titus. I thought all kimchi was good until I bought bad kimchi once, right? Because <laughs> the only way I'd had kimchi before was at like a Korean restaurant, you know? So, I mean, and it's just tastes like kimchi. Like, I've never had bad kimchi at a restaurant, but there is definitely like bad, like package, like grocery store kimchi. It exists and it's awful. Um, but this stuff is really good. It's good every time. We've like bought it so many times and um, never disappointed. It's kind of like um, how I never thought there was such a thing as bad white sauce because I only had it at like the hibachi restaurants for so long until we started buying bottles of white sauce and it turns out there are brands of white sauce that are disgusting. Who knew? Say your prayers. Oh, I want fleet. Um, this was homemade from the farmer's market. It was pretty horrible. Wegmans does a great job though. White sauce. Yeah, white sauce. It's like a... Um, you know, like, it, it, they call it, like, seafood sauce or whatever. It's the white sauce that they have at all the hibachi restaurants. They tell you you're supposed to eat it with shrimp, but I dump it on everything. Okay, so here we go. What's this? Oh my gosh, there's a little cactuar. Hello. Tomei, duties, fetching water, takes his time, and as a result is often left behind. A little dim. So each of these guys has a mini game that you have to play. Um, okay, this is, it's explaining it to you. Okay, whatever, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to explain it. So you try to sneak up on them. I'm really bad at it, but luckily there is really no benefit to winning this mini game. So I'm not even going to try. So you can see like he turns around, you're supposed to freeze. And then you have a timer down at the bottom where you're supposed to reach him by the end of the timer. You lose. Yeah, I always lose. Whatever. I'm not trying to win because the thing is, is the prizes are not very good. You get like an elixir and then some other common item and then if you win all of them well you can lose one if you lose only one or zero of these then you um get a friend sphere which those actually are kind of difficult 
to get. So if you want to get a friend sphere, you basically need to win all of these mini games. But um, like, so <laughs> it's not it's not anything that I would worry about. Like, it's not you don't have to do it to get the sigil, um, or anything like that. So like, just trying with this mini game is just kind of pointless, um, is the truth. But if you win, then you get their name sphere. So this is Tomei's sphere because I won right? And if you fail, you get like a sphere del something. I can't remember what it's called, but you'll see it because I'm going to fail most of these. Um, and then, uh, and it still works. Like it still works to get rid of the sandstorm, which is what all we need, really need to do. So that's that about that. It does not matter. You do not have to try it this mini game. There is very little benefit to winning it. Just a friend sphere. That's like the only thing you get. And who cares? My turn now. So now we got to take this all the way back to the statue. <laughs> yes, it takes, it's, this side quest is a little bit long and tedious, but very, very easy. Okay, what was the point of that? You ran away. And we got to do this for 10 little cactars. So I'll basically be showing you guys where all of them are. Oh, there's a sandworm. <laughs> oh, Waka, that's funny. So, how shall we do this? All right, how shall we do this? Uh, well, we're gonna Blizzaga it first, and let's bring Kamari in, and we're gonna do the same thing here while we armor break it. So we can kill it faster. Killing it faster with armor break. Telling my whole life with armor break. Killing it faster. <laughs> Boom. It's probably going to swallow one of them. Oh no, because it's after three attacks, I think. So we're going to switch her. Let's do Waka. And let's switch him, because I think he attacked multiple times already. Will that stop it? Nope, it's still going to do the swallow. It's okay, sorry, husband was texting me. <clears throat> He's getting a late night snack, wanted to know if I wanted anything. The answer is yes. Enough. Enough. No time to waste. Let's go. There's lots of time to waste. The game goes at my pace, Oren. I know you're trying to like build suspense and everything, but literally Sin will just sit and wait for us and not do anything else. So it's cool, it's chill. Okay, we do still need some more sand wolves, so we're gonna get him. We're done with these birds. Woo ha! At least Waka can hit it. <laughs> I think it's amazing how the very first one that you do, they make you run like all the way back for it. <laughs> so it takes uh, the longest. I am I am a warm brown cup of tea. Oh, oh, that's nice. What how what does it say for a warm brown cup of tea? Is it does it like a, a feel good kind of writing? Like homey writing, maybe? Comfortable? My writing is a comfort that your readers didn't know they were missing. 
Aww. I did find Tentacle Boy oddly comfortable. He was awesome. Alright, that's enough Sand Wolves. So we're good on those guys. We can start running from some of the packs. If it's just Sand Wolves and Alcyons like that one was. We all got such nice answers. I love it. We do need that Mushusu. I enjoy imagining Keanu Reeves. Same! Exactly, Katie. Exactly. <laughs> no time it's a good image, you know? It's it's a it's a good thing in the mind. Okay. Ooh, Cactuar. I do need another one of those. Come, Riku. No, not Mug. Do steal. There we go. I'm good, ya. Yeah? Good, ya. Yeah? Ya. Yeah. Okay, I do still need the Mushisu, so we're gonna kill these guys. Enough. Okay, I think I only need one more of those guys, so... That will be all of the common enemies at that point. Which will be good. Oh, I ran past to the... I ran past the thing! <gasps> oops! Oops, oops! I, won't go so easy on you next time. I lost track of which screen we were on. Okay, let's go back. It's over here! I'll be right back! Okay, so we put the sphere in there, and then nine little gatekeepers play in the sand. Ro Rovi Rovivea's gone walkabout. Be back soon. Okay, so that one is back this way. Most of them are you have to go back, but it's not nearly as far as going back to the oasis. We don't have to go back totally, <laughs> just a ways. Let's armor break him. Yeah. Let's steal some smoke bombs while we're here. Riku's back. Farewell. Farewell. No time to waste. Let's go. We have lots of time to waste, Orin. We have been over this. All right. Let's um. Let's do some cures. All right. So the walkabout one, it's back a couple of screens in this little, like, alcove area. Probably didn't even run into there before. Oh, let's go to Titus. Live and let live. Okay. 
Does anybody have any fun plans this weekend? My plan this weekend is stream, of course, on Saturday, but also play Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, playing it on the community days on stream has totally reignited my Stardew Valley obsession. And um, I'm playing through a forest farm right now. I'm in year two of fall. Um, in, in year two, so I play, the way I play Stardew Valley is kind of funny. So in year one, I typically like to try to finish the community center and get to the bottom of the regular mines. And, uh, and basically that's what I focus on. Oh my God, that game is like crack. It, it, isn't it? It's totally crack. <laughs> and uh, then in year two, I like to do all the things, to, all the gifts to raise friendship with everybody. And, uh, and then and finish quests that uh, that either I had been given and neglected during year one or that you get during year two, right? Um, so like I'll unlock the Witch's Swamp and Krobus and, you know, do a bunch of the secret notes and things like that. Um, and then in year three, I like to focus on finishing Skull Cavern, which is, I don't know if anybody like plays like that, if they kind of have like, if they like save things for certain years, because I feel like if I don't do that, I end up trying to do like way too much in the very beginning and I get really distracted and overwhelmed <laughs> uh, the way I play. So here's our second guy right here, running in a circle. Skull Cavern's hard. Yeah, Skull Cavern can be really difficult. Um, ooh, there's our last Mushishu. Back on the field! Back on the field. Um, I'm having a bad time with it. Uh, Kendra, have you found a prismatic shard and done that yet? Because that will help. I don't want to give you spoilers if you don't want spoilers, but so I'm trying to just say enough that if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's hopefully not going to spoil you. Okay, here we go. Ro V. Vea has no patience for certain dim-witted friends. Oh no! <laughs> uh, not a progressive thinker. Ah. <laughs> okay. So again, like, I really don't even try on these. I'm just trying to get past them. Um, because I don't care about getting these prizes. Like, they're really... It's nothing that useful. Um, feel like I have, but it's been a bit, so I don't remember. Okay. Um... You probably just need to get your combat skill up and get a better weapon. It is really hard if you go in there unprepared. Make sure you bring food and all that good stuff. I mean, you know all the basic tips. See, so I will see what happens when you get the failure one. So you get Sphere de Perdedor. It's just the root snakes. Oh my god, I hate those things. The flying green things. God, they're the worst. Um, awful, awful. Uh, definitely will destroy you. If there's too many in one room, sometimes I'll just nope out. <laughs> I'll just be like, oop, instantly staircase. Goodbye. <clears throat> See you later. I'll be right back. Oh, the other thing I like to do in year two, and this usually bleeds into year three, is to start cooking all the different things. So I've cooked, so that I've cooked all or most of the recipes. Um, I'll start a chunk of that in year two. I'm catching all the fish and, you know, basically, basically doing like some of those completionist things. I'll be right back. Sandworm. All right, let's let's do this. Let's be really cheap and cheatery. Let's haste everybody. And then armor break, so we kill it faster. Boom. Come on, Riku. Why don't you steal? Yeah. 
Horn's little feet when he goes when he has haste. Uh cracks me up. Oh man, I'm still not killing it before it does the swallow. Annoying. Oh my gosh, you gotta be dead soon, dude. There we go. Goodbye, Sandworm. See you never again. Well, see you eight more times. Because <laughs> we gotta still capture some more. Alright, we're not gonna run past it this time, because I'm paying attention this time. Okay, I, I think we got enough Mushu guys, but we're gonna kill one more and make sure. Farewell. Yeah, okay, we had enough. So we just need the zoos, sandworms, and cactuars. Sandworm. Let's cast slow on him instead. Relax. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, he's immune. Oh, I did not know that. Rude. That's armor break. Get Lulu in here to do some big bombs. Some big ice bombs. do a power break so he can't hurt us when he does hit us. Although I think he's just gonna do a swallow and that'll probably be the only other attack he does. Oh no, he did try to he did try to poke us. How low is he? Can I safely do? Yes, I can safely do a Blizzaga. I don't want to kill it with a spell because then I won't capture it. And then this is pointless. Poor Lulu, all that work and she's not going to get any experience. Farewell. Goodbye. That's how it's done. Okay. Eight little gatekeepers play in the sand. Little Chava likes big numbers. Be back soon. Okay, so our clue for that one is he is up here, actually, very close. If y'all remember that sign we read um, back when we were in this area that was like 20% off, like a faded advertisement? That's where he is. Oh, look at an eyelash in my eyeball. All right, we don't need any of these guys. Stop attacking me so I can run away. God. All right. Okay. Something's written here. Danger, strong fiend in vicinity. The writing below is faded. 20% off all travel agency items. Looks like an old advertisement. 20. <gasps> here he is. Chava, recently learned to count to 50. A little needy, attention deficit.
are we in? That thousand needles tack is killer. He just destroys you. Just like boom. Bye. Oh, you're gonna do it twice? I better not get a game over. I better not get a fucking game over. There we go. Oh my god. Just bring in Waka and kill you. Not even gonna try to steal from it. Close not worth call. the risk. It was a close call. <laughs> Thanks, Waka, for pointing out my almost failure. Keeping it tense. Yeah, this area apparently just wants me to die. Uh, let's see. I want... oh, abilities. Come on, Yuna, cure everyone. Okay. So I got his sphere. We're gonna go take that back to the statue. I don't need any of those. That was like the Spartan scene. We'll fight in the shade. <laughs> Level of darts at her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Thousand needled me twice in a row. That's not normal for the AI to do. Alright, here we go. Next one. Seven little gatekeepers play in the sand. Alec and Eloja play tag in the ruins of men. Oh, be back soon. So this one, the quickest way to get to this one is actually to go over here and enter the um, central area from a different way. Live and let live. So you can like go down and around, but you can also go over here and go down. And that's slightly faster to get to these guys. Traders coming through. That's the spirit. <laughs> you got it, Waka. Traders coming through. All right, so we come down here. There we go. Oh. Oh, come here. Okay, Alec and Eloja. Two brothers rarely separated. They move as one. Their closeness is a paragon of brotherhood. Oh, I lost. <clears throat> it's okay, Titus. The prize is not worth it. It's okay. Oh, I won that one too. All right, come here, Riku. That's a capture. Oh, you would Thousand Needles Waka. He is your biggest threat. Alright, come on. Yuna, get Waka back up. Hopefully he'll get his turn before he goes again. Nope, okay. But we're just gonna have to try to attack. Yeah, I thought Riku would miss. Okay. Oh, don't thousand needles, Waka! Oh my god, just do it to anybody else. Anybody else. Literally anybody else would be fine. I freaking love those cacti. I'm glad you love them. They give, uh, they give me much angst. They're so cute. I think they're supposed to be cute. But also, they're very frustrating. Alright, oh, what do we want to do? Let's... I don't think this is going to do anything. Because I don't think... I don't think they respect the protect. Armor of light. Hold physical might. Oh no, good. They're doing something else. Thank god, now I can kill it. Alright. I'm on a roll! Well, since I got the twins, um, we only need one more cactuar. 
It really feels like there's something in my eye. I don't know. Okay. Let's go back. A needle. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. They needle you with all their spiky cactuar spines. That would be really immersive gaming. <gasps> True. Oh my god. <laughs> Too immersive. <laughs> All right, next one. Five little gatekeepers play in the sand. Vachella seeks the shining blue. Be back soon. Okay, so that's going to be by one of the save spheres. There are several save spheres, of course, in this area, but I will show you the one that actually matters for this. All right, since Oren's not here, we'll bring him in first and go ahead and do an armor break. Let's do a cure on Waka. Okay, we don't need Yuna anymore. Let's bring in Kimari. Another zoo down. So we gotta backtrack a little bit for this one. It's in a similar area as that second one that was running around in a circle was. That's where we're gonna go for him. He says that every time, but we're never going to be back. It's just not going to happen. So there's a save spear there. You might think that's where he is, but he's not. He's at a different save spear. Your cactuar is in another save sphere. I'll be right back. It's the one on the next screen. I won't go so easy on you next time. Ooh, another zoo. Good, I still need more of you. Still need seven more of these guys. Oh. Well, we're gonna go ahead and armor break. And let's bring in Yuna to get Kamari back up. There we go. Alright. Come on, Waka. Farewell. Alright, 
I think I need six more zoos. But I still need seven more sandworms. Alright, so we want this save sphere that's down over here. Oh, another sandworm, yay. <clears throat> Is there anything that Waka can do? No, that's fine. Just attack. Armor break. I guess I could use Titus's overdrive, since the way he's gonna the only way he's gonna gain more is if I use his overdrive, so might as well. It's not like he won't build it back up. No worries, indeed. Oh no! <laughs> Good thing I'm about to be right at a save sphere. He's out of MP. Oh no, don't swallow. Oh, rude. There we go. Now it's dead. Okay, it is this save sphere. Oh, my last cactuar. Oh, let's just kill it. All right, that's the last one of those I needed. So we literally just need sandworms and zoos at this point, which is awesome. Okay, so basically you come here, you save at the save sphere. And then he will pop up. Facella loves new things, hard on others, easy on self, stingy. You made so much progress this stream. I really have, we've made a lot of progress. Um, we're definitely going to finish this uh, side quest and get Riku's sigil. I want to try, if we have time, after this, um, go finish up a couple of things. Finish up a couple more captures that will get us Orin's sigil and we can get his weapon too, but I don't know if we're going to have time for that. It's already 7.45 and we've still got... We've got this one that we're on right now and then there's one, two, three, four... Yeah, one, two, three, four more cactuars we have to get after that one. And the next to last cactuar that you have to get is like really far away. <laughs> like annoyingly far. Just like how we had to go all the way back to the oasis for the first one. But hopefully it'll be faster when we run for that one because we can run from all the enemies. Because we're good to go on all of these common ones. So yeah, y'all can see this side quest, it's not hard, it, like the butterfly minigame, the chocobo minigame, and the um, uh, the dodging lightning, I think is like legitimately hard, but um, this, not hard. Just takes a while, <laughs> as you have to go get each one.
Maybe haste will let me kill it before it does the swallow? Nope. It's still, it's still gonna do it once it gets low enough HP. And I cannot kill it fast enough to stop it. Annoying. There we go. No time to waste. Let's go. It always does die soon after. Oh, um, I should have enough cactuars, but let's kill this one just to be sure. Make sure I didn't miscount. Yep, I already- I got enough of those. Okay. Fabulous. I wish there was a way that I could, like, just turn off encounters for the certain monsters. <laughs> but I guess that would defeat the purpose of having uh, random battles, right? If you could turn off the encounters for specific monsters and on for specific monsters instead of just overall. I won't go so easy on you next time. That is part of the point of a random battle system. All right. Nope. I definitely don't need the mechs. I'll be right back. All right. Four little gatekeepers play in the sand. Oh, Robea's stuck inside. Be back soon. Okay, this one is amusing. <laughs> so we need to go down here. I'll be right back. And we're gonna go down this way. Just because if we walk this way, we should encounter potentially more zoos and sandworms than if we walk the other way, but it's kind of six when F doesn't have another whether you go down this way or the other way. Oh, another zoo. Fabulous. Let's haste everybody so we can kill it fast. A little <laughs> the feet. <laughs> it amuses me so much when they're hasted. I mean, he's captured now, so probably not. <sighs> so you can go to the left instead and go the other way, but in this little area, this little pocket area right here, you are more likely to encounter the sandworms and zoos, so I figured let's do that. And here we go, another zoo. I really don't care about that chest. Yeah. Oh, he missed! Oh, because he's freaking darkness, of course he is. How annoying. Okay. Let's give him a remedy. All right, now he can armor break. There we go. The end.
Ooh, another sandworm. Mm, I think he needs a potion. There we go. is so cheap. <laughs> well, it's power breaking too. Yeah, he's gonna do that no matter what. Regardless of whether he has a turn or not, when he gets to a certain point, unless you can just like two hit kill him, I guess. Nine 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 nine. Good job, Oren. All right. So to find this one, you come around this side right here, and you just walk along this wire fence area, and you will find him. I won't go so easy on you next time. What is this? A chest I missed. No, it is Robea. A real needle brain likes cramped spaces. Check out his great collection. Whoopsie. You're just gonna steal. Get more chocobo feathers. Alright. Let's. Oh. I meant to do Yina. Alright, let's go back the way we came so we can hopefully get more zoos and sandworms. You say so. Uh oh. Uh oh, y'all, there's a fly in the room. There's a fly in the room, and Lady has been alerted. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lady, are you gonna are you gonna launch yourself at the fly? Are you gonna launch yourself at the fly? Can y'all see your head doing <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh, she's on high alert, y'all. High alert. Just don't attack the computer, please. Just don't attack the computer. Go for the fly. I can feel her claws going into my leg. And don't claw me in the process, please. Oh, a sandworm. That's good. Uh-oh. Go get it. Go get it, lady. Do your kitty cat duty. Get the bug. I love you, little kitty, but don't eat anything bad. <laughs> it's okay. I, I don't know. Um, maybe it's different and... I always let my animals eat bugs. It's okay, it's kitty cat's duty to eat bugs in the house. It's not a problem, I don't think. I've never had any problems with it, I don't know. Is that bad? Are you not supposed to do that? You're not supposed to let your animals eat bugs? Oh, I meant like cords or internet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely not eating cords. Those are her favorite. Um, but we try to not eat those. Try to not let her eat those. 
So my bugs are allowed. Y'all, Queen is sleeping right there, right? She's like that black thing, and like I just can feel that Lady's gonna pounce her, and Queen's gonna get real upset. <laughs> My cats eat bugs, except we recently had carpenter ants. Oh my god. Um, with pinchers and they attacked back, so the cats hated them. They're all dead now. <gasps> yeah, I bet. Um, oh my god. I can't, I don't think, uh, we've had bugs that attack back before. Maybe. But most of the time, um, around here we get a lot of palmetto bugs, which are giant, you know, big, like, that size roaches. Um, at certain times of the year, they just come in the house. They're just, there's a very high population of, of them here. You cannot keep them out. So, um, that's mostly what we get. And it is the cat's job to capture them and eat them when they come in the house. Um, Ash is very good at it. She is our main bug catcher. Um, I know about those. Yeah, the pain of my life in Florida cannot escape them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have them all over the Southeast. <clears throat> you cannot stop them. You can try, but you cannot. They are here to stay. All right, next one. Three little gatekeepers play in the sand. A fiery inscription. The Lord of the Hole is gone, Isra thinks. Be back soon. Okay, this one actually is on this screen, funny enough. Um, so uh, we are going to have to leave this screen though and come back to get it to spawn properly. So that's what we're gonna do. If you just try to go to it, just straight up, it doesn't work. You have to go to another screen first and then go to where it is. So we're gonna go just real quick, pop over to that other uh, screen and then I'll show y'all where he is. Lady, if you mess with my microphone, I'm trying to catch this bug, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be too happy. We're not gonna be too happy about that. Okay, now we can go back and we can actually get it. So he is in this hole up here. Oh, you saw him, like the little green. Oh, a sandworm. <laughs> did y'all hear that? She did that little weird meow right into the microphone. Her little chirpy chirp chirp. The kitty cats like to do it, bugs. No, I want power break. I need armor break. Yeah, it was his little chirp chirp. You sleeping good, queen? While those kittens get the. While the kittens get the bug? Yeah, she's sleeping good while the kittens take care of the bug. Take that. No sweat. No sweat. Isra, the philosopher downtown, today he digs holes again, a cautious sort.
All right, we can go put this one in the statue. It's not super far, but the next one is super far away. That won't go so easy on you next time. Two little gatekeepers play in the sand. Much curious, Elio has left on a journey. Be back soon. Okay. So here's what you have to do for him. That won't go so easy on you next time. I'm gonna see if I can cheese this by using a different save sphere and then coming back down, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. I'll be right back. But basically we have to go all the way back to the oasis. And there's no reason for me to walk that far when I only have zoos and sandworms left to capture. So I'm going to try to use this save sphere to go up to the airship and then back down and see what happens. I can't remember if you can do it this way or not. But I'm gonna try. Let's save first, in case this does not work. Alright, so then... Let's go back down. The beacon now. Eha! Here we go. Eha! Here we go. Okay, so you're supposed to go from that save sphere out here. Oh no! Wait, you have to chase him. I remember. I remember. I didn't see him yet. So. I need to go back down. That's right. Because you have to see him and then chase him. Here we go. Okay. So we gotta go up one screen and then back into this screen and then chase him down there. Okay, let's see if this works. Yep, that was way faster. <gasps> Where did he go? Oh my gosh, Elio. There's your hint, airship. So then we go on the airship and he's in a really fun spot. <laughs> uh, we have to go back here. And we have to go outside. So all the way up here. I remember I showed y'all like many, many streams ago when we first got the airship, how it's kind of fun that you can walk out on front of the airship. Well, here's one reason that you actually have to do it. <laughs> If you want to finish this quest, because here he is. He's going to be out here on the nose. It's like a train heist. It's totally like a train heist. You got it. 
Elio! To see what lies beyond the sands, he travels far to distant lands. Hyperreactive and a bad poet. I don't know, I thought his rhyme was pretty good. I didn't hate it. Oh, I lost. Wow. Well, we cut out time on half the leg of that journey, but I will still have to run all the way back from the oasis to the back of the area. That's okay. This will be the last long, long walk period. All right, I got it. Sphere de Perdedor. What's going on, Re? What's going on? She woke up. <laughs> the doggy woke up. <clears throat> okay, back down we go. And all the way back <gasps> to the other end of the canal. All right. Too bad there's no quicker way to get to that back area where the statue actually is. Oh, thank you! My fries are here, y'all. Thank you very much. And a fork. Oh, yeah, that is... I didn't know if you wanted to wait. I feel like they'd be soggy. Yeah. No, I'll eat some now, and okay. then the rest after stream. Thank you so much. Right. Levi ordered pizza and got me some cheese fries. I'm gonna open this up while I run one-handed. <laughs> Next time. Do you like cheese fries, Katie? It's one of my favorite things. I love cheese fries. They are the best. And this pizza place has cheese fries with bacon on them. And they put some hot sauce on it, but not enough, so I put more hot sauce. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's my favorite Saturday midnight snack. Exactly. It's such a good midnight snack. I'm going to sample a little bit of them now while they're crispy up, you know, and they eat the rest of them after stream. Okay. I gotta pour some hot sauce on here. There we go. Sorry. Y'all can't see this. My camera is not, um, mukbang angle. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me for that. Oh, thank you. Napkins. Yes. Okay. There, now I can eat a few of them. Okay, back to one-handed running. I'm such a good gamer. Um, this is Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce. That won't go so easy. My favorites are, um, Frank's and, uh, Texas Pete, of course. I mean, they're, they're pretty similar. Right. But I also really like um, Peri Peri. Hot flavor Peri Peri, if you've ever had that. It's kind of a hot sauce. Um, they have non-hot versions of Peri Peri too. It's so good. Um, that's probably my favorite hot sauces, those three. Mm. I mean, Frank's is, Frank's is the bomb, see? Frank's is the wing sauce that we've actually got in the house right now. Um, but wing sauce or hot sauce, I'm happy with either one. I like both. Somehow, this pizza place is able to make cheese fries that stay crispy until they get to the house. 
which is, I think, a pretty amazing feat. screen and then we'll be back. This is the last forever piece. I won't go so easy on you next time. Sorry for the crunchy chewing sounds y'all don't get so too jealous at my crunchy french fries. My pizza place cooks many sausage balls and tosses them in wing sauce it's weirdly good. Oh that sounds interesting. I guess that would be easy for a pizza place right because they already have sausage that they put on the pizzas. So they just, you know, can make sausage balls from that. Yeah, there was this one place that used to make their own version of, like, pizza rolls. And basically what they were is they were egg rolls. But instead of having, like, the egg roll filling, they had pepperoni and cheese in them. Oh my god. They were the most amazing thing in the world <laughs> we move so we don't live near that pizza place anymore but oh my god so good pizza logs yeah 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 they didn't call them that they called them something else fancy um but yeah Pizza logs. You could totally call them that. Yes, I'm sure that's the same thing. You're freaking awesome. Alright, here we go. Last one. One little gatekeeper plays in the sand. Phileo is always behind. Be back soon. <gasps> the guy you never invite but always shows up anyway. Cheeky. <laughs> oh boy, he's right behind me. Nope, oh, I lost. He doesn't give the needle time warning. Uh, there goes all my lipstick, oh well. Small price to pay for cheese fries. Oh, I actually won that one. Can't believe it. Alright, well let's get another chocobo feather out of it. Booyah! Booyah. Pizza King. Alright, final one. Writing appears in the sphere is set to stone. Ten little gatekeepers play in the sand. Tomei is gone. Gone to fetch water. Gone for good. Nine little gatekeepers play in the sand. Rivovea is gone on a walkabout. Gone for good. Eight little gatekeepers play in the sand. Little Chava likes big numbers. Gone for good. Seven little gatekeepers play in the sand. Alec and Eloja play tag in the ruins of men. Gone for good. Five little gatekeepers play in the sand. Belchella, no, Bachella, yeah. Bachella seeks the shining blue. Gone for good. Four little gatekeepers play in the sand. Oh, Robea's stuck inside. Gone for good. Three little gatekeepers play in the sand. A fiery inscription, the lord of the hole is gone, Easter thinks. Gone for good. Two little gatekeepers play in the sand. Much, much curious Elio has left on a journey. Gone for good. One little gatekeeper plays in the sand. Flail is always behind. Gone for good. Ten little gatekeepers play in the sand. Nobody's here. The sand is gone. Oh, 
It's open! And there's a chest down there! Wow, wow, wow! Let's go get it! Oh, Azu, I need you. Should armor break him. There we go. Booyah. Booyah. All right, so we need three more zoos and two more sandworms from this area. But first, we need to go get those chests down there. Mercury Sigil! Yeah! Sandworm! Also, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my nose runs when I eat anything spicy, even though I love spicy food and it doesn't really taste that spicy to me. <gasps> Do y'all have that problem? I have that problem. Even though it's like, it doesn't bother me, my nose is still like, trip, trip, trip. Yeah, it's terrible, but worth it. Exactly. That's how I feel. <laughs> the sacrifices for delicious food. Ooh, nice job, Orin. 9999. Did I already armor break him? I can't remember. We're gonna armor break him. Even if I didn't, it's okay. After this guy, I'll need one more sandworm, so... We'll almost be done with it. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> His fast little laugh because he's hasted. All right, Mega Elixir. So based, you get Elixir, Mega Elixir, or Friend Sphere then, based on how many of those correct things you get. So it's just like it's just not that worth it. I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go over here. and into this little area because that one has the best spawn rate for the sandworms and zoos. Uh-uh, lady. That is my cheese fries. Not for kitty cats. That won't go so easy on you next time. She gets obsessed anytime I have food with what I'm eating and wanting to try some. I've never let her. She's just very persistent. Yeah, I closed it, so you can't get it. There's nothing you can do about it, little kitty cat. Okay, this should be the last sandworm, I think. Oh, not right now, but I really am just happy with this. Thank you, though. Sorry, so you let me take it away. Um, yeah, if you could take it, Lady wants to eat it. We just put it on the on table and then I'll eat some more after stream. You barely ate it. No, I ate a lot. Really? Yeah. So, no cheese sticks or pizza? No. Thank you, though. That 
am gonna eat some more cheese fries after stream. Y'all best believe it. Okay, so then he's almost dead. <clears throat> So hopefully the RNG gods will be good and I'll get the zoos and we can finish this up. No time to waste. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna run around here. Oh, I can do the Here we go. Increased enemy encounters. Sandworm. I think this is the last sandworm I need. Oh, I should have armor broke. Instead of just having Auron attack. Oh well. I've been killing them pretty easily. is back y'all <gasps> will the kitties oh they noticed oh they noticed big time okay yeah we're good on those Okay, now we just need three zoos. Pizza cake. Pizza cake. Thanks, Bender. Maybe this isn't a good so spot for sand for zoos, and it's just a really good spot for sandworms. I thought it was a good spot for zoos too. I oh, know it is. Okay. Oh, lady chirping at that fly like crazy. Can y'all hear it? She's in the background, so I don't know if you can hear the chirps. Okay, I think I only need two more zoos. And then we're good. And we can probably end stream there once I find these last two zoos. Oh no, he's out of magic. Definitely want that haste, so. He should not be allowed to darkness me, though. Okay, I think this is the last zoo. We'll probably get one more just to make sure, but this should be it. He's a pretty bird. Yeah, the zoos, I, I do like the design of them. They're really cool. <laughs> Lady just totally knocked down the pink light that's over there, uh, trying to maneuver to get the fly. <gasps> Back up. 
There we go. <gasps> oh gosh, lady. <laughs> Katie, oh my god. <laughs> Your cat and lady were like totally in sync there then. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you hear that? Where's Lady? Did you hear that? You were in sync with Katie's cat through the internets. Isn't that awesome? She's very proud of herself for doing that. She says she did it on purpose. I won't go so easy on you next time. Come on, give me one more zoo just so I can feel confident that I counted right. I'll be right back. Cats are jerks, I'm sure she's proud. A proud, beautiful jerk. It's true. <laughs> Although as far as cats go, Lady is very sweet, but she is still a cat, so sometimes she does very jerk things. I won't go so easy on you next time. Oh my gosh. Stop giving me sandworms. Give me a zoo. Just one more. Live and let live. Not what I asked for. Live and let live, live and let live. Oh my gosh. Come on. No. Wrong one. I won't go so easy Give me a zoo. Time. I won't go so easy on you next time. I'm not gonna be in next time. You killed enough sandworms. There we go. Well, we probably don't need him, but just in case, you know. Just in case. We'll slice and dice him for good measure. And we'll spiral cut, since it's just one. Okay, we didn't need that one, but now I feel better. I know for sure. Okay, so we're going to stop there. Let's go. Um, when we come back to Final Fantasy X, we will go get uh, Riku's sword, or Riku's um, celestial weapon turned in in Makalania, so that, uh, that we have that. And we've got a couple things to finish with making sure that Orin gets his um, celestial weapon. So we're almost there for that one. And, uh, and we'll probably also go get our first optional Aeon, but um, let me go ahead and switch back. Okay, and close the game. Okay, but we're not going to be playing Final Fantasy X next week. Um, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to take a Final Fantasy break, and we are going to play this game that is on the... Um, Xbox uh, cloud gaming game pass thing. I have a game pass and there's this game on here that I know you guys are going to really dig watching. I'm really curious about it. Let me show it to you. Okay, it's called Boyfriend Dungeon, and here's the description. Romance your swords. Capture the hearts of weapons to level them up in this shack and slash dungeon crawling adventure. For your summer job, you're tasked with clearing the creatures in the dungeon. Soon you discover weapons you find transform into cuties, and they're single. What a crazy coincidence, because you also happen to be up for grabs yourself. Spend the cash you earn on romantic outings to forge precious moments with your lovers and work together to clear rampant monster infestations, because after all, the couple that slays together 
stays together. Yes, I'm going to do a first impressions of this. I've never played this game before. I just saw a picture of it and saw the description and saw that it was on Game Pass and was like, oh, fuck, yes. So that's what we're going to do next episode of Artistic License. All right, in the next episode of um, Interstage Window, so on Saturday, we are going to be doing our Chamber of Secrets stream. So come join us. We're going to talk all about uh, how we felt about rereading Chamber of Secrets. We're going to do a deep dive into it, just like we have done with our previous um, kind of live video essay uh, episodes that we've done so far. So join us for that. It's going to be really interesting. We're going to talk about um, fame and the way that uh, that we feel about Lockhart now in uh, in 2021, you know, post J.K. Rowling's turfening. So uh, that's going to be a really interesting conversation. I hope to see you there for that. Um, let me show you guys where to find me. There's all my socials. Uh, I do things just like every other uh, content creator does. There's all my socials where I post stuff, you know, where I'm active. So you can follow me there and do all of those things. And let's see, let's see which one of my friends is live right now. We can go raid them. All right. We haven't okay, raided. No, I have no idea. Ooh, shush, shush, shush. Quiet Twitch. Okay. We have not raided Alpha Tiff in a while, and uh, they are a good friend of the stream, and they're playing Life is Strange right now, which is another role-playing game. So I think that's appropriate. So let's go ahead. Ah, thank you, Katie. So let's go ahead and raid into Alpha Tiff. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for the um, the ad to finish on their stream. And then we will raid in. Okay, it should be done soon. Here we go, guys. All right. Thank you all so much for coming and joining me today and playing Final Fantasy X with me and getting all the things for Riku's Celestial Weapon. We'll actually go get her Celestial Weapon next time we play Final Fantasy X, so you'll see that very soon. And uh, y'all have fun watching Alpha Tiff play some Life is Strange. All right. Bye, guys. See y'all later.